Well, I made it through the night. Um, it got colder than I expected, and my bed was really uncomfortable. Um, I had uh, gone to bed without the long sleeves and the, the sock hat, and I made it through most of the night without um, putting them on. Uh, I did have to keep the fire going. Um, I just used little uh, chunks like this, maybe a little longer. Um, just kept the coals up, and, and it would last for uh, a good couple hours. Um, the dog also jumped on my head a couple of times. Uh, it wasn't very comfortable. I'm on rock, and uh, I had stuffed some um, garbage bags with plastic, or uh, plastic garbage bags with leaves, and I didn't put near enough in, and I just, I smashed them down to about that. And, uh, so it was really hard getting comfortable. The most comfortable position was on my right shoulder, which is, is not a good position because my right shoulder hurts. Um, but right now, if I can get it in the frame here, I'm, uh, heating up some, uh, water in my canteen cup and I'm gonna have some uh, oatmeal for breakfast and then I like these Folgers coffee singles and then I've just got some hot chocolate to add with that and what I do is I just I heat the water in my cup and then I pour what I need to into this one and have my oatmeal I'm a little disappointed I thought it was gonna be my apple cinnamon and it's my son's uh, maple brown sugar but at this point, I'll take what I can get. Um, and then I'll make the, the rest of the water in the big cup, um, like coffee or, or tea or something like that. That way, I don't really have to do a lot of maintenance on my metal, my metal cup. Um, this little guy washes out real easy. So, anyways, um, I, I did enjoy it, <clears throat> as uncomfortable as it was. Um, you know, it was uh, really nice getting out. I haven't done this kind of stuff for a long time. Um, my shelter is a little worse for wear. I've got a couple of uh, pinholes where it didn't wasn't real bad, but my fire popped and threw uh, some stuff up, and it totally melted the mylar under um, under sheet that I was using, and it put a small hole in my uh my uh overhead um a couple patches of gorilla tape will take care of that it's no problem it be it'll it'll uh it'll serve me again one day but um anyways uh there wasn't really anything big on this one um you know to show how anything's done you know look up plow points uh if you want more information on them um, you can make them. There's there's several different configurations with different kinds of tarps and stuff, um, and and knots. I just like like I said on my other video, um, it'll just be part one, I guess. Uh, I just I just took like a, a a foot long piece, or 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 actually no, I had a, I had like a 25 foot long piece, and I would just poke it through a hole and then tie it down and then cut the rest off. So I probably had maybe two or three 10 to 12 inch pieces and I'll save them I can you, you can use them to lash little things together with um, but you know it wasn't anything I just used box knots you know just like just you know under over tie wrapping around tie and, and that was it so wasn't anything uh, real special with that um, but anyways I still I still enjoy getting out uh, you know thanks for watching uh thanks for your comments um i appreciate the support um i'm actually up to um i think it was 45 subscribers maybe even 50 by now uh <laughs> i really hope these videos turn out because my f the phone that i'm view uh videoing this with actually took a ride through the washer and i i thought it was dead and it's still got some quirks i've got a new one on order but it seems to be working um for now so, anyways, thanks a lot.